This video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. Join a community of over 34,000 photographers and find equipment insurance, education, and business tools made specifically for small business owners like you. What? We're doing a review on the X-T5? Say no more. So today we're taking a look at the X-T5. This is gonna be a creative shoot. I'm gonna show you all the things I like and dislike about the camera. We're gonna cover image quality, autofocus, overall handling of the camera. I'm shooting with Meg, and we're also in a new studio today. It's called Coin8. I'll put a link in the description if you live in the GTA, but I hope you guys enjoy the shoot. I want there to be a tiny bit of flare. Let's get um, bigger, like more loungier. That's pretty dope. I need to uh, angle this light down at your feet a bit more too. Can you turn your face into the light a little more? Like the, that light? Yep. It's definitely a vibe. Right now it's doing subject tracking. It's drawing an entire box around your entire body. That's something new. It didn't, it didn't have that before. Okay, hold, hold that angle again. Love that. That's sick. Cool. Let me show you a couple of these. What do you think about putting the coat back on? Yeah, I'm thinking the coat on would actually be really cool. Love this. Can you kick your right leg out further? It's saying your eyes in focus. Do I trust it? I don't know. I mean, this is obviously a harder scenario for it because I'm shooting with a the Cine Bloom filter on it, on it. The X-T5 is the exact same autofocus system that's in the X-H2. I already covered that in a couple other videos, so I'm not gonna go super in depth in it, but it does have all the new subject tracking as well as face and eye detection that's really, really good in this camera. And it's definitely improved over the X-T4. I mean, I don't normally shoot with filters like this, but I wanted to try something different. Um, I kind of liked when you were leaning forward still. Yeah, and then bring your left leg back in just a tiny bit. Yep, nice. So going over some of the main specs of the X-T5, it has that new 40 megapixel X-Trans 5 HR backside illuminated APS-C sensor, 425 point AF system, seven stops of in-body stabilization, a three inch 1.84 million dot touchscreen, and this is a tilt screen, not articulating, and it also has that 45 degree angle flip out, just like the X-T3, so they went back to the old style. At the side, it has a micro HDMI, USB-C, as well as 3.5 millimeter mic jack, and on the other side, it has two UHS-2 card slots. When it comes to high speed shooting, it could do 20 frames per second electronic shutter and 15 frames per second mechanical. And when it comes to video, it can do 6.2K up to 30 frames per second. It can do 4K 60P, and this is all 10 bit 422. And I can't forget, it has all the film simulations in this camera, and I think they're up to 19 now. This is actually pretty nice, too. Bring this one up to the shoulder. There we go. This is probably the best lighting. I love this scene. I just want to use a tighter lens. There's so much dust on this lens. I don't really care though, we're leaving it. It's gonna add vibes. There's so much dust in here. Love that. Oh, we're gonna get this light perfect. I feel like I'm just constantly moving objects out of my way. I like seeing that staircase in the background too. This is actually a really dope angle. Before we switch out to the second outfit, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, Professional Photographers of America. I'm a member and here's why I think you might wanna join as well. Having your camera gear insured is important and I've advocated this before if you've owned your own photography business. With PPA, you get a lot of benefits and one of those benefits is $15,000 worth of equipment insurance and that's included in your membership. And what's great is that it's full replacement coverage with a flat $350 deductible or if you wanna repair your own equipment, it's a flat $50 deductible. So that's pretty incredible and I'd say that's pretty unbeatable. You also get data loss recovery services, which is a great peace of mind. You'll get access to customizable contracts, cancellation 
cancellation letters, model release forms, copyright transfers, and so much more. There's also a nice education platform to help you grow your photography business, and you'll learn from the best educators. Honestly, all of these things would cost way more on their own, but it's all included in your membership for just a small monthly fee. And if you sign up today using my link in the description, you'll get $25 off your PPA membership. Thanks Professional Photographers of America for sponsoring today's video. So as I mentioned in my X-H2 review, this 40 megapixel X-Trans 5 sensor is amazing. The level of detail, the tonality, the image quality coming off it is awesome. You will see here though that this thing is struggling at eye detection because I've got a pretty hard scenario for it. We've got glasses, we've got hair in front of her face, as well as a filter on front. So I wouldn't really judge the autofocus based off this. I was just trying something a little bit more creative. Right there, yep, and then bring your hand up back to your hair again. Do one, two, where you're looking off out towards the window. Cool. Let's do some overhead shots. Same thing, look in that direction. Love this. And then looking out that direction as well. Cool. All right, let's move to the office location for the last remaining whatever we have. So the XT line has always been about tactile buttons and dials. So you have your ISO on the left and your shutter speed on the right. And underneath your shutter speed, you have that new movie and still toggle that you get on the XT4. And technically the entire layout of this camera is just like the X-T4. There's also front and rear command dials, which you can also program as buttons because they both push in. And there's also one function button on the top that's pre-programmed to set to eye detection. So I feel like I already covered most of these video features in my X-H2 review. The only difference in the X-T5 is it's lacking a few things. It does have F-Log and F-Log 2 if you want a little bit more dynamic range. It does have that new media menu for selecting your options quicker. It does 6.2K up to 30 frames per second, 4K HQ, 4K up to 60 frames per second, but it's limited to 360 megabits per second at its highest bit rate, and it doesn't do ProRes video. When it comes to the IBIS and overall autofocus in video, it's pretty similar. I didn't really notice much of a difference. mainly meant for photos, but it can still shoot 6K video, right? So I might as well show it. I want to get like less office-y with it and more like editorial with it if we can. towards the window direction. Same, same like with the chin up and looking up, yeah. So my final thoughts on the camera, Fuji did a really great job. And basically if you want an X-H2, but in an X-T3 body style, this is the camera you get. There are some weird quirks and some limitations on this camera though. The first one is that there's no bottom contacts for a vertical battery grip. So as far as I know, you can't use a vertical battery grip on this camera at all. Also the rolling shutter when you're shooting 6K or 4K HQ or even just electronic shutter in photos is pretty bad. It's pretty wobbly. You gotta be really cautious of that. And although the autofocus system is improved for video, I still find it's hit or miss. And I think that's just dependent on the type of lens you're using. But in photos, it's amazing. It's sticky. That eye detection, the subject detection is really, really good. And overall, it's just a really great camera. And I think it's coming in at around $1699. So it's $200 less than the X-H2. So if you don't need 8K video, or the flip out screen, this is the option to get. And when it comes to high ISO performance, I already did this in an X-H2 review, but I will be doing another video with the X-T5 in some lower light situations, so stay tuned for that video. All right, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, that's the X-T5, that's Meg. <laughs> this office space was kind of cramped, but I think we got some cool photos and some good video tests, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Make sure to follow Meg. Thanks to Milos, we're done. That's it. Once again, thanks to Professional Photographers of America for sponsoring this video.